Oh, to be in England, now that April's there, and whoever wakes in England sees some morning unaware that the lowest boughs and the brushwood sheaf round the elm tree bowl are in tiny leaf while the chaffinch sings on the orchard bough in England now. And after April, when May follows, and the white throat builds, and all the swallows, hark where my blossomed pear tree in the hedge leans to the field and scatters on the clover, blossoms and dewdrops at the bent spray's edge. That's the wise thrush. He sings each song twice over, lest you should think he never could recapture the first fine careless rapture. And though the fields look rough with hoary dew, all will be gay when noontide wakes anew. The buttercups, the little children's dower, far brighter than this gaudy melon flower. Blossoms and dewdrops at the bent spray's edge. That's the wise thrush. He sings each song twice over. Lest you should think he never could recapture the first fine careless rapture. And though the fields look rough with hoary dew, all will be gay when noontide wakes anew. The buttercups, the little children's dower, far brighter than this gaudy melon flower. Oh, to be in England, now that April's there, and whoever wakes in England sees some morning unaware that the lowest boughs and the brushwood sheaf round the elm tree bowl are in tiny leaf, while the chaffinch sings on the orchard bough in England now. And after April, when May follows, and the white throat builds and all the swallows. Hark, where my blossomed pear tree in the hedge leans to the field and scatters on the clover. Blossoms and dewdrops at the bent spray's edge. That's the wise thrush. He sings each song twice over. Lest you should think he never could recapture the first fine careless rapture. And though the fields look rough with hoary dew, all will be gay when noontide wakes anew. The buttercups, the little children's dower, far brighter than this gaudy melon flower. <laughs>